So the Flak Bait is the American yeah. combat aircraft that flew the most missions during World War II. From the late July 1943 to May of 1945, it flew just over 200 missions. The Army Air Forces gave flak bait to the Smithsonian in 1949. And so it's been with us you know, just over 60 years. And so we're coming up on the 75th anniversary of its 200th mission in April of 2020. Well, the aircraft was delivered to the Smithsonian disassembled. But it was a combat aircraft, so it had battle damage, it had chipped paint, it was just a beat up old airplane. It was disassembled, brought to the United States, and it sat in storage for decades. Uh, in 1976, when the National Mall building opened at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, they put the nose section that's behind me on display. So it had been on display for 40 years, but the rest of the airplane had been in storage. So in, in 2014, we brought all those pieces of the aircraft here to the Mary Baker Engen Restoration Hangar and started work on it. So we're just going on our, you know, our sixth year. So Flag Bait's name is very uh, interesting in regards to the story of the B-26 Marauder during World War II. Crews themselves who flew these airplanes called themselves Flag Bait, which meant that's the German word for anti-aircraft artillery, Flag Bait. And so they said, okay, we're the bait for this flak that's coming up. And so that was just the general term. But the leader of this first crew with this airplane uh, Jim Farrell, he, he wanted to name the airplane Flak Bait for that reason, but also because there was a play on words for a pet dog back home called Flea Bait. And so he sketches out this shrapnel burst of, of flak, he writes Flak Bait in the middle of it, and has one of the resident nose artists in the squadron to paint that on the side of the airplane in July 1943. We are going to preserve flak bait. We're going to bring out the originality that it had from World War II and remove the things that have happened to it since. So visitor damage, storage damage, dust and dirt. And so uh, that aim is that we're not going to take things away and take away the paint, put new paint on. We're going to bring out the originality of the paint that's there. What stands out a lot about flak bait is that it's a survivor. That what you see is the paint that was applied by the people at the Martin factory near Baltimore, Maryland, the green and the gray paint, the, the national markings, uh, the nose art by T uh, Ted Simonitis, who painted that on there. All of it's original. And so that's very striking about it. In regards to all the damage, there are over a thousand individual patches on this airplane from combat damage. And so the airplane was a survivor. And so, you know, with these other projects that are going on in the museum, we want to give this airplane it's due and do right by it in regards to what the work needs to be done so we don't want to rush anything. So we're hoping, you know, 2022 or shortly thereafter, it'll be on display in the Boeing Aviation Hangar at the Edvar Hazy Center.